Hello everybody, my name is Jacob from the Dry Pain Pot and welcome back to Hobby Mistakes, the show where I make all the mistakes with my models so you don't have to. Now I was going to save this episode for a later date, but I have very little patience. So today's episode will teach you how to create the most kick-ass lava bases. So let's get things started. Now my lava bases are very easy to build and will make your models pop when they hit the table. To build the volcanic rock, we will need cork board, a marker or pen, sterling mud or a ghrelin badland texture paint by Citadel Paints, and Loctite Ultra Gel Control Super Glue. For part of this video, I'm going to be using a proxy base because I've already started this project earlier in the week, and I didn't intend on making a lava base video just yet. But like I said, very little patience, and I'm just dying to do this. For the lava and rock, we will need the following Citadel paints. Gnome Oil Shade, Corn Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, Troll Slayer Orange, Uriel Yellow, Abaddon Black, Eshin Gray, Administratum Gray, and White Scar. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's begin. You'll first need to trace the area of your base on the corkboard. The surface area of the top of the base is usually smaller than the lower part, so be sure to trace the base face down. Next, cut out the shape with either scissors or a sharp blade. I usually use scissors to make my cut as accurate as possible. And consider using corkboard or foam on your bases as it's fairly cheap and extremely easy to work with. Once the board is cut, line it up with the base and cut any parts that hang over. After that, we need to place the model on the cork board that we just cut and trace any areas of that model that touch it. This next step is where you let your creativity flow. Think of a really cool path for your lava and sketch it onto the cork board. I like to either color this area in or put little dashes so I don't forget what's what once I cut. Now we want to mark both the base and the cork so we can line everything up correctly once we glue things down. Cut out the path for your lava and glue the cork to the base. Next, you apply either Sterling Mud or a Ghrelin Badland texture paint to the cork board. Be sure to avoid any places where the model will touch the base. While the texture paint is wet, you can sprinkle on some pebbles to add some extra texture and let this dry overnight. 
If you added those pebbles to your base, you'll need to make sure that they stick. I use a spray bottle filled with one part Mod Podge and two parts water and give the base a good spray. Prime the base with either gray or black primer and let that thoroughly dry. Next, we will dry brush the stones with Eschen Gray, followed by Administratum Gray. Don't worry if any of the gray gets onto the base, so get messy if you must. Once that's done, give everything a wash in Nuln Oil to darken all the recesses. For the lava glow, we need to dry brush the areas along the flow path with corn red. Closer to the lava, we next dry brush with evil sun scarlet. Even closer to the lava, we want to do a light highlight with either Evil Sun Scarlet mixed in with some Troll Slayer Orange or Uriel Yellow. Now that the rock is complete, we move on to the lava. Using Corn Red, Paint all the lava and allow the color to run off the base. This next part is the most time consuming because you'll want to blend inward using Corn Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, Troll Slayer Orange, Uriel Yellow, and White Scar. Once you have a nice blend from red to white, you're technically done. If you've ever worked with two-part epoxy, this is the time where you can apply a layer over the lava for some extra pizzazz. If you've never worked with two-part epoxy, don't worry, because I'll be making a tutorial video in the upcoming weeks on how to work with it and certain things to avoid so you don't ruin this awesome base that you just painted. And there you have it. Our lava base looks awesome and it's tabletop ready. I really hope that this video inspires you to experiment with basing and if it did, then feel free to share your work with me at The Dry Paint Pot on both Instagram and Facebook. Now wash your brushes, clean your paint pots, and keep on painting.